Hello Union, today we are going straight in into the training and today will be the second leg day of the week. So in this one it was a little bit different. As you see right from the start I'm doing some plyometric work. I did these jump squats to pistol squats, five repetitions on each leg. And then I paired this one with hamstring ball curls and I did this for 10 repetitions and I repeat these two exercises for two sets only. The first exercise was to work on some explosiveness and ever different stimuli to the body and also to focus a little bit more on the quads and gluteus and this one will also have the focus on the gluteus but also on the hamstrings just to warm up for the next exercises. training here. I did a superset where I paired eccentric controlled deadlifts or straight leg deadlifts with chair step ups. In both of them I was aiming for slow controlled eccentrics. Here the video is with a faster motion because otherwise it would be too long but I tried to go with a slow and controlled motion for about three to five seconds of the descending phase. With these exercises I was decreasing the load that I used but maintaining the intensity due to the eccentric phase being a slower eccentric phase. And as you see different from the other one here I'm using lower loads. I'm using 20 kilograms for the straight leg deadlift and for the step up I wasn't using any weight just body weight. This is a different way to perform a leg workout. It's good for you that you don't have access to a gym or even don't have the weights at home. You can easily pick something that can help you increase the weight of the exercise, load of the exercise and do it with this slow and controlled motion. Next one, I paired lunges, backward lunges with one leg bridges for another superset. For both of them I was using 20 kilograms and I was aiming for 10 repetitions on each leg. So the, the reverse lunge is a great one because you need to be more focused in the exercise while you go backwards because you can see your leg backwards, you just have to control the movement and go with a slower eccentric again. And with one leg bridge you are focusing more on strengthening one leg at a time and increasing the intensity even with low loads. Next on the line I did wide stance squats with 20 kilograms, again decreasing a lot the load from the previous day where I was working with 50 kilograms. Now I'm using 20 kilograms but I'm going slow and controlled and I'm going to perform 15 repetitions as to increase intensity as well. the squats I was doing calf raises with an increased eccentric 
meaning that you use a higher surface that you can sl slowly go down with your feet and put it under with a more flexion of the foot so that you can increase intensity of the exercise as well as use more range of motion to help the muscle grow better. At the end I did some accessories, some complementary work. This was just to complement the other things, just to go for some stabilizers, just to just to work with some stabilizers of the lower limb. And I was doing hip flexion, hip abduction, and hip extension with a mini band on fit, as you can see here. For today we are going to do one of my hold home abs workout my five minutes home abs workout second version is a follow along so you can do it with me go check it out on the channel I'm going to leave the description in the description the link so make sure you go there let's start it So guys, this one was tough, my abdominals are fatigued from all the workouts, all the other workouts, all the, all the week, and even for the legs workout, you activate the abdominals and they tend to, you activate your abdominals muscle and they tend to, to get really activated when you do so. About this leg workout, it was a different one, it was with a, a, a less load, but high intensity as well. At least I felt like it was high intensity, although the movement was slower and controlled. But by, that, by doing that, your legs are working a lot as well because you are doing more extensive, more prolonged eccentric movement, and that causes a really good damage in your legs to help them grow and help them get stronger. So this was what this was. What I was striving for in this workout, get slower movement, controlled movement, except for the first ones where I go to a little bit more of explosiveness and the other ones was just more for that eccentric part and that motion control. So this was also a um, quicker one, quicker um, routine. I'm with a little bit of extra work today and I need to, to get that done as well as I also felt like this was a good workout so I wouldn't have to worry about not working with the heavier loads as previously. So I hope you enjoyed this one as well, 
make sure you comment below if you do any of these exercises or if you do something completely different and I would like to know your opinion about this type of workout and this workout as well. So I'm going to see you tomorrow on the last day of the week on Sunday to perform the last workout of this week and this is going to be probably more about mobility and weak link strengthening. Okay, so I'm going to see you there.